The Squarespace font menu has a lot of cool options for customization, but when it comes to the mobile version of your site, we can't edit the size of fonts separately for mobile without custom code. And that's exactly what I'm going to teach you how to do in this tutorial. I'm Becca Harpain from Inside the Square, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can customize the size of fonts in your Squarespace website, specifically on smaller screens. Now, all the codes I'm about to share with you are listed underneath this video, but without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so we can get started. Started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and in this tutorial, we're going to overwrite the font size with CSS. Then I'll show you how to customize one thing at a time, and we'll talk about stretch to fit text. There are chapter markers below, so feel free to jump ahead if you need to. What we're going to do to customize specifically the mobile font size is to use a breakpoint. Now, if you're new to custom CSS, just stick with me here. What we're going to do is tell the computer browser to only make code changes on these types of screens, any screen that's smaller than 767 pixels in width. And we're going to do that with custom code. So all of these font sizes that we see here on desktop will stay exactly the same. All we're going to change is the font size specifically on the mobile version of our Squarespace website. On the left-hand side of the screen, I'm going to navigate to Pages. Then I'm going to select Website Tools and then Custom CSS. Now, all this code I'm about to share with you is listed underneath the video, but stick with me here. Instantly, you'll see that all of our text types have been reduced to be 16px. So the heading one, this is the same size as our paragraph three, which is probably not what you want. But I set it up like this so you can see what it's like to customize each one of those text types individually. We've got heading one through heading four, and those are pretty easy to remember. H1 is heading one. So let's go ahead and make that our biggest at 40px. Then we have H2 for heading two. How about we make that 35 I'll go ahead and scroll up on the screen so we can see here. We've got heading three next. Let's make that 25. And how about heading four becomes 20. Now we've adjusted each one of these heading types individually. The paragraph text gets a little bit more confusing. Paragraph one actually goes by the unique code name SQSRTE large. So we can adjust this to maybe 20 if we want it to be larger or 18, whatever size suits the style of your own unique website. Paragraph two responds to P. So we can just use the letter P, font size 16. That looks perfect. Then we have paragraph three, and that goes by SQSRTE small. We can make this super tiny, but I do want to warn you that making a font really small on mobile could make it really difficult to read and could make your website inaccessible to some people. So we'll go ahead and kick that up to 16. So it's the same size as paragraph two. Then last but not least, within our text types inside a text block, you have the monospace option, and that actually goes by the code name of code. So here we said font size 16, but let's go ahead and make it bigger, font size 20. Now that text type of monospace is going to be its own unique size specifically on mobile screens. Now this entire code is only going to apply on screens that are smaller than 767 pixels in width. So let's go ahead and look at our desktop again. You'll see that these are exactly the same as they were before. The only thing we adjusted was the mobile version of our Squarespace website. Now I'll go ahead and select save and let's talk about changing one thing at a time. Now, further down this page, we have different types of content blocks. We have a quote, we have a summary block showing some blog posts, and we have stretch to fit text. Now, what we can do to target these individually is either use their selector or their block ID. There is a difference here. So if you're new to code, stick with me and I'm going to walk you through it. Underneath this video, you'll find a link to a free Chrome extension that I love to use. I'll turn it on really quickly. This Chrome extension displays the block ID, the unique identifier for the content blocks on my Squarespace website. So I can quickly grab this block ID. I'll turn the extension off and here inside my code before this final bracket, so it only applies to this media query, I'm going to paste the block ID, use an asterisk and say font size. 12px. I'm just going to make it small so we can see instantly that all it's going to change is the content inside that content block. Now we can also make it 20px. And now the quote source and the quote itself are going to change to be 20px, but again, only on mobile devices. If we go back to desktop and scroll down to that quote, you'll see that all we did was change the mobile version. Now, underneath that quote, I have a summary block, and I wanted to use this as an example to show you when this asterisk trick doesn't always work. Let's go ahead and grab that unique block ID. 
so we can target just this summary. We'll turn the Chrome extension off, and in my code, I'll say, okay, computer browser, when you see this content block and there's anything in there, make it font size 20px. And I want you to notice that it changed everything. The title of the summary block, the title of the blog post, the excerpt, even the date, March 11, 2019, it's all gigantic. So sometimes targeting the block ID isn't going to do it. You need to find the unique selector for the content inside that content block. Now, everything in Squarespace has a unique name, like SQSRTE large, which is the code name for paragraph one. Everything inside the summary block has a unique name. There are hundreds of selectors that you can use to modify individual parts of your Squarespace website. I don't have that list of hundreds memorized, but Custom Cody does. Custom Cody is a GPT that I trained on my selector database and all of my tutorials. So let's just ask really quick, how many selectors do we have access to here inside Custom Cody? Okay, we definitely have hundreds. It looks like we're at over a thousand right now. So we can ask Custom Cody specifically how to change the font size for that summary title. So let's go ahead and ask. Please write a code to make my summary block blog post title font size 20 and bold. Custom Cody will browse through the database, write the code for us. And now I can copy this directly out of the chat. It'll also include instructions if you're new to code, but you're sticking with me in this tutorial. So let's go back to my site here. And instead of using the block ID, we're going to paste the code that Custom Cody gave us. This code right here is only going to change the font size of the summary title, and I asked Custom Cody to make it bold, so it was really obvious what we were changing. Now, it's inside this main media query, so when we go to the desktop version, the font size and the bold, it's gone back to normal for that particular summary block. This is only happening on a mobile device. Again, there are hundreds, actually over a thousand of selectors available inside Squarespace, so if you want to change the font size of something very unique that isn't one of these standards, standard text types, you can always ask Custom Cody. Now I'll go ahead and select Save because we need to hop into edit mode to talk about Stretch to Fit. This is one feature available in Squarespace that will overwrite any custom code that you have for that font size. Stretch to Fit, also known as Scale Text, is going to change the size of this font so that it always stretches from the edge to the edge inside this content block. In fact, it'll stretch edge to edge no matter how much text you add. Notice that it's stretching all the way to the edge. Now, if we go to the desktop version of our website and we take this stretch to fit and we pull it all the way to the edge of the screen, that font's going to be much larger. But check it out. When I click on this font, this is still a paragraph two font type. That hasn't changed. This right here is what's overriding the size of the font. This is scale text or stretch to fit. If I turn this off, it's going to go back to that paragraph two font size that we assigned. This feature is only available inside standard text blocks, and it will adjust the font size separately from any setting you've selected inside your site styles menu and any code you've added in custom CSS. Now I'll go ahead and select save and exit, and we'll go back to the mobile version of our site so I can show you one last time. We're using some common breakpoints here, specifically for mobile landscape and mobile portrait. We said anything that is smaller than 767 pixels in width is going to process these code changes. Now scrolling down here, heading 1, 2, 3, and 4, those are so easy to remember. H1, H2, H3, and H4. Adjust that font size as you see fit. After that, we have paragraph one, and that goes by SQSRTE large. Paragraph two goes by the letter P. And then we have SQSRTE small, which will change the style of paragraph three text. Then we have code, which is what's going to adjust monospace. Change the font size to anything you see fit for your own unique site style. Last but not least, you can always target a content block using a block ID. And if you want to change something inside that content block, you're going to need to know its unique selector. There are hundreds of them available inside Squarespace, and Custom Cody knows them all. So if you need any help generating your custom code, you can chat with Custom Cody at customcody.com. And when you're all done customizing your site, don't forget to select Save. Now, underneath this video, you're going to find all the codes that we just used, including that media query code, which is so helpful for customizing anything on smaller screens, held landscape or portrait. And those are the codes that I want you to use to customize the mobile version or the mobile size of your text. Yeah, the mobile text size. We're going to go with that. I'm Becca Harpain from Inside the Square, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.
Good news, Squarespacer. We finally have an AI that truly understands Squarespace. Meet Custom Cody. Built specifically for Squarespace users and trained on every nuance of the program, Custom Cody is your AI-powered assistant for effortless, expert-level Squarespace customization. Available now at customcody.com.